everybody, it's Heather from the Homesteading Hippie. Tonight we're going to make my family's favorite meal, fettuccine alfredo. And we love to make it with fresh homemade egg pasta, and we're going to show you how to do that. To start, we're going to use three cups of semolina flour. You can also use white or whole wheat flour if you'd like. The semolina will give you a really good texture, kind of like the restaurant quality. We're going to use three farm fresh eggs. I get these from our backyard chickens, but if you can only get them from the grocery store, you want to just bring them up to room temperature, let them sit out of the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before you get started. We're also going to need about a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of olive oil, and water. We're going to start at half a cup of water. We may use up to a whole cup of water in the recipe depending on the humidity in the air. The higher the humidity in the air, the less water you're going to need for your pasta. Let's get started. We're going to start just by putting the three cups of semolina flour in our KitchenAid mixer. And I'm using a dough hook with it. And we're going to add the olive oil next and the eggs one at a time. And then our teaspoon of salt. I don't ever really measure the salt. I just kind of put it in as I need to. And we'll start by mixing that first. And as it's mixing, we're gonna slowly add in the water to form a stiff dough. You want to add it in just a little bit at a time because you can always add more. You can't take it back out. And as it's mixing, you might want to take a spatula and kind of scrape down the sides a little bit and just make sure it's all getting mixed in there really well. Again, what we're looking for is a stiff dough that may be on the stickier side. We're going to add just a little more water. And I think I've got the texture we're looking for. And what we're looking for here is kind of crumbly, kind of stiff. And you're going to go through and just kind of mash together a little bit with your hands. This is why you don't want it too wet while you're mixing it in the mixer. And you're just going to bring it all together, carefully folding it over each time until all the flour is mixed in. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and our dough has had a chance to kind of rest. And we're going to put in our KitchenAid attachment First thing we're going to do is, is the pasta roller, and we're just going to put it into the KitchenAid in the attachment area. Now it has numbers on the side, and we're going to have it on one to begin with. I'm going to cut the dough into six equal pieces, or as best as I can, because we have six of us eating dinner tonight. the side and then each piece will get kind of pushed off to the side and what I'm going to do is just flatten each piece out maybe pick up a little more flour from the table if it feels sticky turn on the machine and let's get rolling now I want to put it through a couple times so I'm just going to fold it over each other still feeling a little sticky so I might need to add a little more flour from it 
And that's why we spread flour on the table, just to be able to do that if we need to, and then have a floured place for the pasta to sit as we're wait, rolling out all the pieces. Now, any time you're going, if your pasta feels kind of sticky to you, feel free to add a little bit more flour on the ends, just by taking it, laying it a little bit, shaking off any excess. And as you're rolling it, you put through the second time, fold the layers in on itself. That kind of helps make it a more tender pasta. Okay, so at this point, our pasta is all rolled out and flattened, and we're going to put in the next attachment, which is the fettuccine attachment with the KitchenAid. So we're just going to do the same thing that we did with the other one, just put it in. Turn our machine on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these pasta sheets and put it in. And then put the cut pasta on a plate. Once we cut all the pasta, we'll throw it in the boiling water and get it ready for dinner. And I just lay it on the plate carefully like a little pile. Because we've let it sit out for a couple minutes first, it doesn't stick as much together. So it'll make it a lot easier to go into the water without sticking or making a big, huge pasta mess. And as you're rolling it and putting it through the cutter, you want to try not to stretch it as much as possible or to cause it to break. So you just want to be kind of gentle with it at this point. Even broken pasta is still going to taste really good, but it's more of aesthetic appearances. Now our pasta is rolled out, we're going to head over to the stove where I've got a pot of salted boiling water ready to go for it. Okay, now the water is at a rolling boil and we've added salt to this. The salt, this is the only time you're really going to get to really season the pasta unless you add other stuff into it. So I like to salt it almost like the ocean. And you just put the pasta right on in. And then carefully stir it a little bit. And from this point, it's going to only take about three minutes to cook, so you don't want to walk away from it. And we're just going to stir a little bit, let it cook, and get the strainer ready as we're going. Keep a very close eye on it. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and drain the pasta now. And you don't want to rinse your pasta off because it can actually rinse off the starch in the pasta and you want to keep that so your sauce will cling to your pasta better. And that's our fettuccine alfredo with homemade pasta. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.